attacks on a child is one of the most common sex offenses in California. Lewd acts on a child, also known as lewd and lascivious acts on a minor under 14 years of age, is found in Penal Code 288, subsection A. In California, in order to be found guilty of a violation of Penal Code Section 288, subsection A, the prosecution has to prove the following elements. One, either you willfully touched any body part of the child, whether it's on their bare skin or on their clothes, or they willfully touched you based on your direction through either your clothing or through your bare skin. In addition to that, you committed that act with the intent of either arousing, appealing to, gratifying your lust, passions, or sexual desires of yourself or the child, and the child that you did this touching to was under the age of 14 years. Penal Code Section 288A is an extremely serious crime. If you were to be found guilty of violating Penal Code 288 subsection A, you could be sent to prison for upwards of three, six, or eight years. You would be required to serve at least 85% of your time in custody because a 288A is it's what is called a serious and violent felony. It is also a strike offense. So that means that if you were to commit another subsequent felony after the fact, then whatever that new felony's maximum exposure would be becomes double because of this offense. In addition, you also would be required to register as a sex offender for the rest of your life. Now to help explain further how serious these charges are is if you were to commit a lewd act on a minor and there's more than one minor, your exposure changes to become upwards of 15 years to life in a state prison. What that means is that you would serve 15 years in prison before even the chance of getting some kind of parole hearing to allow you to get released from custody. That is how serious a 288 charge, especially one involving multiple victims, is. There are several common defenses. One of them, of course, being that kids can lie. Now, sometimes these kids don't do this in order to be malicious. They don't do it necessarily to hurt somebody and because they don't necessarily understand the implications of what it is that they say. Other times, they can simply make a statement because of something they saw on TV. They can make a statement because of something they heard at school or maybe they wanted attention. Or sometimes in divorce cases I've seen, there's been a parent who allows their child to make accusations against the other spouse in order to get some kind of leverage when they start dealing with child custody. However, even though kids do lie, and I've heard many times and many stories of this happening, lies do tend to fall apart and the truth will prevail. For more information on a violation of Penal Code Section 288A, please give me a call today. Back